set in your tent, ready for a good night's sleep after a long day in the wilderness. Just as you're closing your eyes, you hear a growling sound. A hungry bear is trying to break in. I bet you wish you could go back in time because that one thing you did a few hours ago led this grizzly right to your campsite. Let's see what other mistakes could send you to an early grave. How to Survive presents Worst Things to Do When Camping Nothing screams summer fun like exploring the backcountry. You'll enjoy breathtaking scenery, but you'll be surrounded by things that can literally take your breath away in just seconds. Wild animals, poisonous weeds, unsafe weather conditions, you name it. Camping can be dangerous. That's why you need to make sure you're doing everything right every step of the way. And don't make any of the foolish mistakes we're about to show you. When is the best time to set up camp? What tiny critter can put you into anaphylactic shock? Why would you need a sewing kit? Number 10. Relying on a campfire. Making a bonfire and eating the fish you just landed from a nearby stream can make you feel like Bear Grylls has nothing on you. But wet kindling and wood, even from the morning dew, can cause some issues when you want to get things fired up. The best thing to bring is a camping stove so you can use it as a backup for cooking. Number 9. Arriving after dark. Setting up camp is no easy task in daylight and it can be mortal in the dark. There could be rocks, sticks, deep holes that you can't see. You could end up injured. It's crucial that you arrive during the day or at least an hour before sunset at the latest to give yourself time to find a good sturdy place for camp and figure out what's near you, such as bathrooms and medical facilities. Number 8. Eating Berries If you're craving a snack, you better bring it yourself. You're surrounded by what looks to be a vegetarian buffet, but you'd better be an expert to see the difference between edible and poisonous plants, especially if they have berries. Poison ivy and poison oak got their name for a reason and are toxic from the roots to the berries. They might look delicious, but they're lethal. You should also wear long sleeves and shoes around these plants to protect your skin. Pack an anti-itch skin cleanser with you, just in case. Number 7. Leaving the bug spray at home. Mosquitoes are annoying, but they're not the only critters that crave your blood. Brenda Thomas went to the ER after a bite from a Lone Star tick left her with a new severe allergy to red meat. Thomas almost died from anaphylactic shock, all caused by this tiny bug. To avoid an ugly encounter with dangerous bugs, don't set up camp near a body of water. If you venture into tall grass, make sure to pack lots of insect spray, apply it regularly, and always check yourself periodically for any bloodsuckers. Number 6. Forgetting a first aid kit. A fix-it kit and a first aid kit are a must when you're out in the wilderness. You'll need extra rope, duct tape, and sewing material to take care of tears and ribs to your tent. A good first aid kit can be a lifesaver. Make sure you include antiseptic cream, distilled water for cleaning wounds, and painkillers. Number 5. Bringing the barbecue too close. Nothing beats a good barbecued meal out in the wild. Just make sure the grill is at least 6 meters away from your tent. The charcoal you used releases carbon monoxide, an odorless and colorless toxin that can build up inside your tent. Never bring a barbecue into your tent, no matter how large it might be. Inhaling CO2 can cause you to lose consciousness and can be fatal. Number 4. Disregard Weather Alerts It's summertime, so it's supposed to be sunny and bright outside, but don't make the assumption it's going to stay that way. Even if it looks just fine right now, that doesn't mean the weather won't change drastically later. If you're near a lake or a river and it's raining heavily, Flooding is always a possibility. Make sure you check the weekly weather forecast before you arrive. Number 3. Not booking your spot. You made it to the campsite just to be sent packing. 
A lot of people want to spend their summer camping. The place filled up quickly and now there's no room for you. If only you should have booked ahead of time and avoided this awkward situation. Number 2. Keeping Food Around In May 2022, Henry Ayers, a Boy Scout, was sleeping inside his tent until a sharp pain in his leg woke him up. It was a giant bear gnawing on him. The 12-year-old boy had left food on his sleeping bag and even spilled something on his leg, which attracted the beast. Henry screamed and gave the bear a swift kick, which scared it off. Having snacks close by was nearly a fatal mistake. Number 1. Not Testing the Equipment No matter how experienced you think you are, every tent is slightly different when it comes to setting up. You should be checking in advance that everything works perfectly fine. Imagine coming all this way just to find out your barbecue is broken or your sleeping bag is ripped. Talk about a buzzkill. The vacation is over. Time to go home. Where did you leave your car? Was it this way or that way? Oh no, you're lost and alone in the woods. Now what? Well, we can help you with that too, here on How to Survive.